Elisa from Photo Box Designs. I wanted to show you a quick unraveling of our template hero. Um, when you open up the template, you'll see one folder that says words. <clears throat> and inside that folder, it has a multitude of different hashtags that, we, that will be placed on the top or the words on the bottom, like thank you and forever grateful. You just have to look through and see which one you want. So you can turn on firefighter. You can also highlight that file, that, that layer. And then you can just either use the command T um, or you can just, if it's already set for you, you just drag it if you'd like to make it a little bit larger. These can all be clicked on and off, but they cannot be edited. So you can do a firefighter, police officer, which also you can make if you click on it and you press command T or it might already be set up for you in your Photoshop. You can drag it and make it a little bit bigger. We have first responder, healthcare worker, physician assistants, nurse, doctor, and then you can turn them all off and you can just use the text tool to just write your own. If you'd like to use a hashtag or maybe put someone's name in. Maybe it's just someone that you know. And you can add that to your template as well. We also have on the bottom forever grateful or thank you. And then the heart is also a separate layer and the heart you can grab and then use the move tool and move it to the location. Actually use the move tool or press the command T to transform and then move your heart to where you would like it or you can shut it off completely. The way the clipping masks work are that you open up and you click on the layer that you want to fill, such as the H. You open up your computer, go to File, Place Embedded, and find a file that you'd like to use, and place it in, and then you can resize it. So right now I've highlighted the H. I'm going to place it over here. It's OK. Right click, Create Clipping Mask, and it's clipped. Now you're going to just drag it around inside the letter that you want. If you change your mind, you can always grab that file and move it and place it on top of a different letter. Again, create clipping mask and then move it. If for some reason you move it and then you don't see it, it's because it's being clipped to a letter that might, for example, if I press, if I make this image a little bit smaller, now it's disappeared to view, but it is still there. It is just clicked to the R. So if I unclip it, with this clipping mask, you'll see that the image is still there. The image needs to be also over the letter that you want to clip it to so you can see it. And then right click, click, create clipping mask, and then move it around. And I also applied some stroke effects, so you just have to press the effect to turn it on if you'd like a stroke. If you want to change the color of the stroke, just open up the effect by double clicking on it, go to the stroke, and you can change the color. As easy as that. All right, hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.